there's a question. Why is philosophy haram? Philosophy is not unconditionally haram. One has to understand what are we talking about, right? Um, what the you know, philosophy is a range of disciplines, right? Uh, what the ulama discouraged people from studying is the unguided speculations of those who speculated about truth without guidance. Right? Okay. The unguided speculations of those who spoke about truth without the bedrock of guidance. Right? Because philosophy is, a, in its pure sense, is the human quest for truth and meaning. Now we have guidance. We have guidance. Absolute truth in Revelation. So the believer's duty is before one goes to random speculations about the truth and how to live it, that one learn Revelation. How? By seeking what is called beneficial knowledge. Al-ilmu nafi'ah to have clarity about our beliefs, our guidance, our conduct, our values, and how to live as an upright believer who seeks good in his relationship with God and seeks good in his relationship with Allah's creation and who does good in life. Then in that, there are different aspects of the philosophical tradition that the ulama of theology brought into the Islamic tradition as being useful means of understanding and explaining the truth and how to live it. But that is found within the Islamic tradition. One should be well grounded in that before one needs to look here and there. Uh, one of our dear teachers here at Seekers asked about the issue of studying some of the works of classical philosophy to understand. And he's a, he's a, he's a scholar himself now. This, uh, and uh, one of the very respected scholars of our time said that the ulama looked into philosophy and took on the basis of principles and values what is needed by the thinking Muslim in their quest for truth and quest for understanding meaning. And there's a beautiful book related to this by a, a distinguished Lebanese scholar of the 20th century that's actually translated in English. It's called The Story of Faith by Nadim Jisr, by Sheikh Nadim Jisr. And I believe it's available through various online booksellers and stuff. The Story of Faith by Nadim Jisr. And it's a valuable work. Alhamdulillah. La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah